everybody. I'm Linda Weidman. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. My spouse, Gail, and I have been together for over 20 years. We have been married for a little over one year. And so it's a great, really grateful and thankful that we were able to do it. And we continue to be proud Iowans and glad that we live in Iowa. Here. As life changes happen, I will be quitting my job soon and going back to school. And because of being married, I will be able to be on Gail's insurance. And so that's a wonderful uh, benefit. And you know, those aren't special rights. Those are equal rights. unfortunate uh, case to have to visit Gail in the hospital, I want to be able to do that without fear of being turned away. You know, those, like we have all mentioned here before, those aren't special rights, those are just equal rights. You know, we, uh, a lot of people take those things for granted and they aren't for us. When we travel, we take our marriage license with us so we can prove if anything happens while we are traveling that we are legally married. I don't know of too many other married couples that have to do that. So thank you all for being here and uh, please do vote this November. It's important for us to uh, elect officials that are supportive. Thanks. like this. I think that we're all coming from different places and we're at different stages in this process of thinking about this. Um, it's a lot like a marriage. It's a lot like dating and deciding who's going to be your mate or your partner. It's a lot of compromise. It's a lot of seeing that other side, that perspective. And I guess that's why I can appreciate the passionate response of the National Organization for Marriage. They believe in marriage. I do too. I don't carry my marriage life. I don't carry my marriage license because I take it for granted. Um, human nature is the base of this. We all want love. We all want to love someone and be loved. That's what it comes down to. You can talk about a lot of these touchy subjects, but every single one of us wants to be loved. Early on, we start looking for those people to surround ourselves with that support us, that care about us. And somewhere in that mix, we try to find one person that we connect with. And pretty soon, we have those conversations, and we start building, what if? What if we have a future together? How will that future be? We all do that, whether we're gay, we're straight, whatever our life circumstances. And so that very basis is something that connects to everyone, regardless of being straight or gay. There are legal rights and security that marriage brings that I've so assumed, I've so taken for granted. My husband will tell you it's a privilege for me to be married to him. <laughs> and many days that is true. But I, I, I'm realizing what a privilege it is. I love the man, but I love the fact that I am married and I can be and I didn't have to do all of these things. But I guess it's not enough for me to sit back and assume those rights or privileges. I feel like I need to take the next step and identify myself as straight. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've not needed to. But I need to here so that you know that it's a different perspective. I want to be able to be a part of this process, these conversations, continuing to support 
marriage equality in Iowa. I'm very proud to be an Iowan. I'm from Wisconsin. You can hear it sometimes in the way I talk. I haven't lived there my whole adult life. This is my home. This is where my children are being raised, where I work. I am so proud of what we put forth as a state. And this is yet another reason that I am proud. And I want to stay proud. And I want to continue to fight, as so many of you are, for marriage equality, the rights that we all deserve. Thank you.